We came up with the idea to have a West Side event at Estancia High School to unite our community and our zone schools. Fall in Love with the West Side is a name we came up, kind of a pun on the season, but also to um, our community, we want you to embrace the West Side and everything that we have to, to offer. We're a cultural community, a very diverse community, and we just want to embrace everything that we have here. We wanted to have a reason to come and visit the campus, so shopping for moms and dads and games and activities for kids and food to embrace the culture of our community and just an idea to show what this community is. We're proud of Westside Costa Mesa and Estancia High School and what it does for the community and for the kids. My wife and I both growing up in the community and going to Estancia, we come out here and we see friends. It's like a little bit of a high school reunion and we're coming out really just to be here, see what we can find, see what we like and just support everyone who's participating today. We worked with a local produce company and got some pumpkins and so we wanted our kids to be able to come out and play in the pumpkin patch and take pictures and have that opportunity and then you can buy a pumpkin and take it home today. Well, I've been getting my henna tattoo and I've been walking around with my mom and I think we're all going to walk around the pumpkin patch and see if there's any pumpkins we might want to get and maybe we're going to definitely buy a lot of peanut butter balls. It's just really cool to just walk around and see everything and how they all made it theirself and that they've made all that. <laughs> We have over 40 vendors here. They're mostly local artisans, that sort of thing. It's more stuff that someone has crafted and made and is selling. I'm a former Estancia High School student, class of 91, and I work here, but I also came here to you know, uh, participate in the event. I'm here with some Day of the Dead headpieces from another former Estancia High School student. And these are just things that you wear on El Dia de los Muertos. This was just her way of giving back to the school as well. This altar right here was created by the students from Estancia High School and it's commemorating the Day of the Dead for Richie Valens and on the other side you have Selena. Elementary schools are here and they have kids games and crafts. We also have a pottery workshop. Kids can come and paint pottery and then we will have it fired and deliver it back to the children. Now one of my personal favorites is we have a vendor here who grows pottery. He sells it but he's also here demonstrating today. A lot of times teenagers, they don't have a lot of ways to express themselves and this is like a great non-threatening way to be able to make stuff and show who they are in a safe environment and so that's why I really love teaching ceramics and bring it out to the community. I'm inspired by 80s pop culture, I love street art and graffiti and so it has that influence. Maybe some kids walk by will get inspired so that art continues to have a lot of support. Every vendor uh, is responsible for their own booth and they will make their own money, but they paid to, to have a space here at the event. That money that they paid will go to support various things that Estancia PTSA does. All of the athletic boosters and clubs and elementary school PTAs that are here, they get to keep all the money that they make today to help support their cause. We're actually here just to earn some money towards our golf program. We go to a lot of like away games, so we need like ways to get there, and we're going to get more, um, hopefully get um, better bags because our bags are really used. Our clubs are all rusty, so probably going to go towards those too. I always wanted to go to the flea market, and this kind of reminds me of it. It's really cool seeing new faces and new people, and that there's this many people in our community that we've actually never met and I think that's just a cool like concept. We wanted to create something that the entire community could be a part of. It's a four by eight foot art project and it's a picture abstracted of the west side. That painting then will be divided into two art pieces. One will go to Estancia, one will go to Tewinkle and be displayed. And just showing that we are different parts of the community but when we come together we make one whole community. I could get teary over this because it means a lot to me that our community um, showed up like this um, uh, to see everybody come out and be, um, be proud of their school. I'm just so proud of our community and what we can do when we put our minds together.
It's just been a mission of mine to show our community how great our schools are and to not make assumptions on what a neighborhood looks like as to the quality of the education and the schools. That the diversity of our campus and the small size of our schools makes us very special. You don't have to leave your community and that investing right here at home really makes an impact for everybody, not just your kid, but the community as a whole.